Louise, huge congratulations. Thank How do you, you feel? Thank you so much. I feel very <laughs> happy and very overwhelmed. On top of the I world. genuinely didn't expect to beat Ian Rankin and Joe Nesbo. <laughs> oh, you can put that on there. <laughs> Take that off the bucket list now. I beat Ian Rankin. <laughs> and no. what he does best as well. No, I know. Not even just I know. in a race. I know. I think I was very much an outsider. And so it's um, a wonderful, oh, no, wonderful moment. Yeah. Well Thank you. Um, there seems to have been a particular surge um, for enthusiasm for crime recently. What what do you think has caused that surge? What's pulling people into crime and what pulled you into crime when you started? I think that crime has actually always been very popular, but now we're just um, really consuming it sort of so voraciously and new genres and new subgenres are coming up all the time, including my own sort of um, so-called property porn thrillers <laughs> that I write. I think people enjoy, um, in terms of the crime that I write, I think people enjoy a life that's kind of recognizable, but it's kind of things have gone a bit dangerous and twisted. And so there's that kind of there, but for the grace of God feeling about it, you know, you feel safe yourself, but it could go horribly wrong. Um, do you think there's been a change in the kind of treatment of women in crime, especially kind of for authors, but also characters? People have really been championing kind of feminist literature as well. I yes, think I think that. so. And also just not only using women characters as victims of crime not, or as violent dead victims. And naked now. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. And and our house, I, I, I didn't consciously do it, but I'm glad that I did. Um, you know, there was no violence towards women in it at all. The um, mm -hmm. it was a, a fraud crime, and then the the female character is comes out of it quite strongly. So yeah, it, it's definitely a trend for sure. Yeah. And um, why do you think book awards are so important? What what does it mean to you to win? I think they're incredibly important because most of the year you're all just beavering away. You know, we're all working incredibly long hours and we're all kind of individuals. And, and it's just amazing to kind of come together en masse on this, you know, huge scale. So I think it's one of the only times of the year that it happens. And obviously to me, it's just incredible recognition for all my hard work. <laughs> Book Definitely. 12. <laughs> you got there, amazing. I and, did, and many yes. more to come, I hope. I hope so, yes. <laughs> I feel inspired. Yeah, so you should. And um, if there was kind of one thing that you might tell your, your your younger self starting with that first book, what would you would you tell them that you got here eventually? Or would you not tell I them? I think it would have been wonderful to have known that because so <laughs> many times over the years I have considered giving up and I have thought, oh, should I, you know, am I really, you know, you know, going to ever have that big hit. And so it would have been very useful to know. But um, but actually, you know, I think that you become a better writer. If you if you don't have success early, you tend to sort of, you know, you, you challenge yourself to come up with a big idea. And that's what I try to do. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to let you party. So <laughs> thank you.